Understood, Marlo. We're... What the hell? Unknown vessel detected. Shit, it just appeared out of nowhere. Marlo, are you reading this? Alright, so I've actually been pretty excited to talk about this. Um, it has been, I think I recorded this not too long ago, maybe a month ago. Um, it was just a matter of getting through the Alien campaign, which I'll get to that um, in that video. I'm, ba I'm making three separate videos, each for each campaign, just because I can focus on each one better and kind of talk about things as I go, um, as you know. I, none of this is scripted. I don't write scripts. I like to just talk as I go, and maybe I fumble, maybe it's rambling, but at least it's just me in the moment. So, this is Aliens vs. Predator, the game from 2010. And I guess some people would technically call it a, uh, AVP3, but I had bought this um, when I was... Well, I guess my mom had bought it for me when I was in early high school but I recently just rebought it on PC and went through it and what you're seeing here is the Colonial Marines playthrough and right here in the beginning they do a fantastic job of really making you feel the tension and horror and just the overall vibe of like what an alien movie would be I'd almost even say a bit of the vibe of alien isolation in the beginning by the end, you know, you get smart guns and stuff, and do you die quick? Yes, but, I mean, you get your pulse rifle with the grenade launcher and then a shotgun or the smart gun. Flamethrower. So, this is the beginning section. You're kind of going through this town, you know. To me, it kind of just reminds me of, like, a Aliens, Hadley Hope kind of thing. Not bad. They do a good job of at least setting up the atmosphere. And as you'll see, as a human, you do die very quick, which is not bad because it kind of keeps the tension and I feel like keeps a little bit more of the quote-unquote realism of being attacked by an alien. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think I was playing on normal and you die in like two or three hits, but you can do this goofy thing... Which it makes sense gameplay wise, not really world wise, where you can parry aliens. Um, it's pretty funny, because you know, you can just keep parrying them. Um, it's, you know, it's whatever. They clearly couldn't just make it where you were just going to die and get hit non stop, because, you know, kind of a clunky game. But as you'll see, yeah, the pistol has infinite ammo which kind of takes away from the tension just a little bit um, but to be fair they you know there's pros and cons the pro is that it's infinite ammo the con is that it takes forever to kill aliens with the pistol and it's you know there's all in like an alt firing mode where you can do a burst or just aim and shoot And yeah, I'm. I was mainly just doing cutscenes for the human. I don't want to spoil too much. To be fair, the game's been out 12 years, so if you haven't played it by now, you know, come on, let's be real. But I just wanted to kind of skim through the key points of the game. You know, you get to fight aliens. You do get to fight a predator. You get to see like a predator ruin. It's very. It's very what I would want from a movie. 
And for the life of me, I don't know why we've yet to really get a movie like this, which, you know, I know the AVP uh, movie from, what, 2004 kind of had the vibes of, like, runes and stuff, but nothing like this. And, yeah, this, the smart gun, as you can see, is basically, I mean, it'll just tear through aliens. It's got this auto-aim feature, which is so OP. But, yeah, the, I will say, the human campaign, to me, was probably the most tense. Um, but my favorite playthrough will be the Predator playthrough, which I will upload. The biggest problem with, I feel like, the Colonial Marines uh, walkthrough, playthrough, whatever... Um, which, you know, to be fair, I, you know, any game can really get repetitive, in a sense, is you really have no mechanics besides shoot. You know, there's no melee feature, there's no, there's no other thing you can really do. They don't have like a, you know, um, how do I put it? Like a base defense kind of thing where you set up traps to get aliens or really nothing. Um, I know it would have been goofy, just because it was from the movie, but, you know, who knows? Maybe you could have, been, you know, had a, a Xenomorph tail staff or other things. You were very limited to, like, the same five weapons, roughly. Um, and you can have, I think, two at one time. So it just becomes kind of a chore to get through where the story is intriguing, I really want to get through the story, but then the gameplay just, you know, leaves a lot to be desired, and you could say, hey, well, you know, it was 2010, um, but I feel like even at 2010, you know, games were had enough mechanics, even as a shooter, where it kind of brought a lot to the table. Now, does that ruin the game for me? No. Like, obviously, I love shooting the pulse rifle. It is glorious, the sounds it makes. I think visually, the game doesn't look bad. I like the idea. It's just the whole, um, yeah, what I've just been rambling on about. Just the lack of really anything else besides just shooting. And that could be a nitpick, you know, honestly. Um, but that's just me. And it is odd, though, because... It sets up another game, and all the endings kind of you know allude to this point. Another game, but they never made another game. I don't know why. I I feel like this game wasn't terrible, you know. And the I remember playing uh, like the multiplayer or whatever back in the day. And I remember having fun. So it just kind of confuses me on why the game didn't do so well. But yeah, this hu the Colonial Marines campaign wise, not bad. I think you'll have the most tense, like, classic alien feeling from this. Because even playing as the alien, which is my least favorite story, to me it was a chore to get through. And you'll see in that video, but... I guess that's going to be it for this video. You know, just wanted to kind of talk about this game in each section. And, I, you know, I'd be curious to hear what other people's either complaints or, you know, disagreement with me or whatever that they'd like to say. They can comment in the video and tell me all about it so thanks for watching as always and i'm out this has been a high cost operation let us hope my predecessor's faith in it was justified it's everything we'd hoped worth waiting centuries for the coordinates to the xenomorph homeworld